All right, here we have a 1965 Euclid E6-5. Euclid started producing dozers uh, in 1954 after GM bought the uh, Euclid line or the Euclid um, Road Machinery Corporation. Uh, they uh, started putting money into Euclid and uh, it was a division of GM and they came up with first the TC-12 and then the, the uh, C-6. This is the Dash 5 version of the C-6 which is probably the most refined of them because in that it morphed to the 8230 version which never really progressed after that. And what you see here is probably absolute cutting edge of dozer technology, uh, crawler dozer technology in the mid 60s. What made this dozer so unique was the, first of all, the final planetary drive system. It um, had planetaries here, which were uh, planetaries around a sun gear and an isolated track system. Never before did Dozer, any company, produce something like that where the shock load of the Dozer uh, did not transmit through the final drives of the machine. It's made a very unique design and made a good seller for it, actually. Up front, one of the most noticeable things about this machine and any Euclid Terex machine, what, Ter what Euclid became after that was the single RAM. Euclid believed at the time that one RAM was better than two. Uh, it was something that could have been, you know, arguably between two or between any company, uh, two or two are better than one, one is better than two, whatever. Uh, but it, it's a very unique machine. And of course the green color. No other company back then had a green dozer, and that's what stood out. But let's see if she fires up, and uh, we'll get moving here and move some dirt. The uh, control area is pretty simple, laid out, very open cab. Uh, got your throttle here. Two steering levers, master brake, uh, master detent there, parking brake, dozer control. And the nice thing about these dozers of this vintage was that it was a uh, power shift transmission. No uh, shifting of a clutch or no, no clutching and shifting back and forth. Well, let's see if she goes.